So, you know, music and Detroit, they go hand in hand. We are the birthplace of Motown and electronic music and the big festival, and we continue to churn out artists with one-of-a-kind sounds. That's become the next of the big stars. That's huh? right. From Big Sean to Jack White, yeah. the influence of creative minds from our city has been seen on the Billboard charts. Photographer Alex Atwell introduces us to a new creative mind from the city that's truly making art with music. Live music is just awesome. And it connects with people no matter what age you are, no matter what background you are, I think everyone can connect to music. I think being an artist is a lot of fun. It's a great way to really affect people's lives in a positive manner. Start me a little, little bit early. Uh, that's the whole purpose why I do music. That's the whole purpose why I create. And I think um, as an artist, I have a springboard to help people, and hopefully that's what I do. Give me a topic to write about real quick. Like, what would be a good topic? My name's Jack Sanderson. I play music in Flint Eastwood, and I'm based out of Detroit, Michigan. And why would you leave? Song ideas can come from anywhere, and inspiration can come at any moment. It can come from a conversation. If you guys have any interesting words, I start my process of songwriting with some kind of idea, some kind of word, or some, some kind of thought that I've been having. My heart was racing straight down to my stomach. All my worries are straight. Like, ah, how do I? Let me hear it back real quick. So I come in with this, with this concept of I want to write a song like this that, that conveys this emotion. Whichever you're feeling, die alone or time is coming. Days I worry, I'll die. I think die alone would actually work better because it's the uh, person leaving them. Well, the emotion that we wanted to bring was kind of this, this longing angst. Um, and I think it was, really, it was really portrayed. What did I do before? Why would you, why would you leave me? Why would you, why would you, why would you leave me? Why would you, why would you? We just wanted to create something that really vibed out and really got people's heads moving, but really had that passion and emotion that comes with loss. Why would you leave? Why would you leave? Why would you, why would you leave? Yeah, I'm very much a conceptual artist with, with the way that I work, just the way that I think. And so everything that I do has a lot of thought that's put into it. Loop the verse real quick. With a song, for example, I'll come in with the idea, we'll, we'll lay down the track, and we'll immediately start writing over it, immediately start laying down vocals, and try to, to have every single take as if it was the last take. Then why would you leave? Why would you leave? Why would you leave? I like that a lot. With my live show, I try to be as authentic as possible, and I try to, to connect with the audience as much as possible. Whether that be through lighting, whether that be through videos, or just songs, or just performance, just instrumentation. Being an artist that, that's able to create in this city is, is an awesome experience. It's an amazing thing. Detroit has this certain vibe of just collaboration that's been brewing and a lot of passion that takes place. I feel like it has more passion than any other city I've ever, ever been in, more than New York, more than LA, more than Atlanta or Nashville or any of the major music cities. People really value that authenticity and that passion and people will follow something that's passionate and authentic more than something that's trendy. Because most days I worry I'll die alone. And I really, really value that as an artist in Detroit, that people really see beyond what's cool of the moment and, and really see the deeper, truer meaning of things. I create music to help people. I think that's the most important thing. I think a lot of times pop music in particular can be very shallow. And so I want to create something that people can want to dance to and want to nod their head to and something that sticks in their minds that has something that will positively affect their lives. So I wish I were at that show. Yeah. <laughs> Joining us now in studio is Jax Anderson. Thank you so much for being hey, here. Thank you for having yeah, me. Good morning. Absolutely. Good morning. So what about the name Flint Eastwood? We have to ask right off the bat. That's really cool. Oh, yeah. Thank yeah, you. How'd it's, you come up with it? Well, it's a combination of just everything, all the cities that mean a lot to me. So okay. Flint from Flint, Michigan. Yeah. East, I grew up in East Detroit. Wood comes from Hollywood. I was living in, in L.A. at the time of, okay. of the incarnation of the band. Okay. Love yeah. it. Very love cool. It. Yeah. 
So do you write your lyrics or how, because it felt like you were just coming up with things and you started singing them. Yeah, a lot of it is just stream of consciousness. Mm. Uh, some of it might be stuff that I've written down pr uh, previously. Some, uh, the great thing about working out of Assemble Sound, which is the studio that I work out of, uh, a lot of people run through and so a lot of people will just say words and we'll just kind of vibe mm -hmm. together. So I, I saw you and you, you said it's a practice space with the big LED monitor wall yeah, behind yeah. you, right? Are you a visual thinker right off the bat? Are you seeing something before you write and sing it? Or how does the process work for you? I'm, I'm very conceptual with everything that I do. So you, whatever yeah. I write, I just immediately things come to mind and I, it just irks me until I can just get it out yeah. there. Mm, very yeah. cool. And like Chuck said, the visuals, uh, you know, in the screen, the background, that seems... That, to be something that a lot of artists are doing now. I see that a lot of music shows. Why do you think that that's like such a big thing now? Oh, for sure. Simply because it's, it's accessible. It's mm -hmm. something that, that anyone can do as long as you, you put the work in to actually do it. Right. Um, it's, and, and why not, you know? Why not be as creative as possible in as many yeah. ways as possible? Well, you know, you're here this morning as a good example of what's happening in the D. I right. mean, right now, all around Southeast Michigan, there's this vibe about musicians. Something is happening. What do you feel is the ground shaking here? What's going on? Oh, there's definitely been an underground scene that has been brewing for a very long time, yeah. whether it be through techno, garage rock, the pop underground scene, hip hop underground scene, all of it's kind of uh, starting to, to collect together. Yeah. Uh, places are starting to collaborate a lot more. Artists are starting to collaborate with each other a lot more. It's becoming something that's going to be mainstream in a matter of, of well, any time now. Any time now. Yeah. This is very, very and cool. And if you, you can fake authenticity, yes, sorry, you, no. you got it made, right? Somebody famous once said that, but you were talking <laughs> yeah. about being authentic. There's yeah. something gritty and authentic mm. about this town. Oh, for sure. And what we're hearing out of your out of your singing is this idea that you are authentic. Oh, everything well, about you. you. So I, I would assume that translates to your following too, right? Oh yeah. I, I mean, I, I love going to shows and meeting people and, and, and knowing people's names. A lot of times people go up to artists, they just want a signature right. and that's the end of yeah. the, the, the yeah. interaction. But I think there's more than that. That's Good. cool. So what's next for you? Uh, we've got a show coming up this Saturday. Got an uh, EP release show happening with oh, Seth cool. the Sibling, uh, Tunde Alana, and, and Parlor Tricks across from Two James Warehouse. It's going to be an awesome show. And where is that, Two James Warehouse? Uh, it's in Corktown. Okay. Yeah, yeah, right on Michigan Avenue. We just have all of us hipsters that are not quite familiar <laughs> have to understand. That's <laughs> yeah. right. Got to understand my lingo. You know? <laughs> Good to see you. That, that's Thanks awesome. Thank me. you yeah. so much for being here. So if you want to hear Flint Eastwood's new EP, Small Victories, and for tickets to their show on Saturday, head to the homepage of clickondetroit.com or the Live in the Deep Facebook page.